Hey team, Coach Steve here again, and today we've got long runs. And I wanted to, uh, first of all, kind of say welcome to any of our new folks on the group here that uh, uh, are doing our 5K and 10K kind of virtual race. And um, considering we've got some new folks on here, and for some of you folks, knowing that today is our long run or our long walk, uh, today may be the first long run or long walk that you guys have done, maybe not even with this program, but maybe just the, the, the first long one that you've done in a while. So I wanted to take a minute and just kind of uh, give you a few different measuring sticks or reference points you can use to make sure uh, that you can get through this first long workout successfully and, and feeling good. You'll see uh, different programs at times or even in hours you'll see workouts at times uh, referenced in miles uh, or at times you'll see it referenced in uh, minutes, right? And either one of those is fine. Uh, I think the advantage to some of our beginner programs being listed in minutes versus miles is sometimes when it's in miles, you can have a tendency to want to hurry and just get it done because you got to do three miles or you got to do four miles and sometimes you'll get outside of the pace range that we want you at because you're just in a hurry to get it done, which kind of defeats the purpose of starting to understand how your body should feel during some of these workouts and some of these uh, kind of effort ranges. So for a lot of our beginner programs, we have used minutes versus miles because right now it's about just getting the minutes in, getting the the, the time out on the roads or, or on the sidewalk there. So what I wanted to, to use, or I wanted to talk a little bit about here is a couple of different um, kind of reference points so you can know that you're in the right zone. So if you'll see on your program or on a lot of programs, really, whether you're referencing one of ours or uh, one of the ones maybe you got online or you, you have a coach that you're, that you're working with that, that got you there or got you that program, sometimes you'll see uh, a percentage, right? So on ours, you'll see, hey, long run or long walk, and you'll see a percentage range of 70 to 75%. I've had a handful of people ask me, hey, so what does that mean? 70, 75% of what? And I want to explain that a little bit. So the answer to the question is, I want you to be working at 70 to 75% of your max heart rate. Well, um, if you have a heart rate monitor, that's a little bit easier guide. So if you have a heart rate monitor, great. Just use that as a reference point. Make sure your long walks or runs are at 70, 75% uh, and you're good. And you get the time uh, that you need to go and you're fine. So if you don't have a heart rate monitor, and you say, okay, well, I don't have a heart rate monitor. How do I know what 70 or 75% should feel like? You know, you could easily kind of take that down and say, hey, on a scale of one to 10, you want to be at, you know, six, seven, you want to be around a seven, which will make sense for some people. And then other people will still have a hard time just maybe not having run or walked long distances before. That still might be challenging for you to measure. Hey, what does a seven feel like versus an eight or a six or a five or a nine? So I want you to feel comfortable that deeper into the program, the more comfortable, more, the, the, the more experience you get, you're gonna get a lot more comfortable with how your body should feel at a seven or at an eight or at a nine, right? But right now I can appreciate, maybe, maybe you're not real familiar with that. So the other reference point I would give you is 70 or 75%, you should still be able to carry on a conversation. You should be able to talk. If you're walking or running with somebody, you should be able to talk to them and you're not breathless. You can still be fine, right? If you find yourself out of breath, if you find yourself walking or running with someone and you can't carry on that conversation, then you probably need to kind of peel it back a little bit, right? So. I've had uh, a couple of people ask me a little bit about, hey, well, you know, three, four, five miles, that might be difficult at time. I wanna reassure you guys that the most important reference point right now are those intensity levels. And if you can be at 70 or 75% intensity while you're walking, then I want you to be walking. I don't want you to run just for the run's sake and I don't want you to walk just for the walk's sake. It, whatever pace, gets you at that 70 to 75 percent that's the pace you should go at whether that's walking or running or whatever right regardless of of kind of what your exercise background is uh, those intensity levels will will kind of guide you um, 
and I just uh, I, I want you to feel comfortable with that being the the North Star for lack of a better term right so again these long runs will continue to inch up week over week over week and we're going to get you your body just used to being out on the roads more so by the time that uh, june 3rd comes you're going to be ready to go whether it's walk run a combination of both i really want to encourage you guys to not get too wrapped up in that right now walk it run it whatever it is the 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 long runs the easy runs the recovery runs that are listed at 70 75 percent stay close to that you have one workout a week that's just a little bit higher intensity. I, those are referred to as kind of tempo workouts or tempo intervals. You're going to be closer to a 80 to a 85 percent intensity. And again, same kind of thing. Use your heart rate monitor if you have one. If you don't have one, the talk test is kind of the the guide there. If I'm doing tempo runs or tempo intervals, and I can still carry on a conversation while I'm doing that, I'm probably not going fast enough, and I want to speed up a little bit. So just use those as your guide. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more tomorrow about recovery and the rest days and what you should be doing on those. But I just wanted to, to give a real genuine, sincere welcome to all of our new folks on here. And we look forward to all getting to kind of train together, hearing from some of the different coaches that we have about different workouts and nutrition and hydration and just, uh, um, we're looking forward to kind of taking this journey with you, uh, and we appreciate the community that uh, th this allows us to kind of build uh, and just get to know Stride and our coaches and our team a little bit better. So, again, good luck on your long run today. Sometimes people have a tendency to go to too fast. Please don't do that. I'm going to pull you back. It's your first long walk or run. Just get the workout in, and we start to build little wins along the way, and you'll be shocked at what your body is capable of doing after you start building confidence and building some of those wins starting with today. So I look forward to hearing more from you guys. I look forward to getting to know you more in the future. If you have questions, comment down below or shoot me a message privately. I look forward to helping you along your way. Again, I'm Coach Steve, and we'll talk to you guys soon.